Hey there YouTube, this is the Phantom Outlaw with another review for you. Well in several of my other reviews you've heard me reference uh, my affinity or my uh, level of uh, comfort with the 1911 format. So this is uh, my first 1911 I wanted to talk about with you guys here today um, and explain to you uh, just the benefits and, and some of the points about this particular uh, firearm as well as what I really like about the format and what I really like about this gun. So let's start off. Let me show everybody first off empty magazine Empty chamber So we are dealing with a safety checked firearm All right, what we've got here today is the para USA black ops 1445 uh, 1911 firearm. Now, uh, there are some who will say this is not a true 1911. That's fine. I'm not going to get into that argument with people on that. The point being, that's the format that it's designed after. Um, we're going to go over some of the specifics here in just a moment for you. But it, um, this is one of the favorite uh, firearms that I have to shoot. Um, I've had a number of different guns over the years that have outperformed other ones. Uh, but this one, accuracy wise, comfort wise, ergonomics, everything, you name it, this is definitely one of my favorites. So let's talk a little bit about some of the specs on it as I normally do. First off, this is a 45 ACP caliber. As I said, it's the Black Ops 1911-1445. Um, it does have a ramped match grade 5 inch barrel. The sights are Trichicon Tritium night sights. Length is 8.5 inches. The height is 5.5 inches. The width is 1.5 inches. The weight is 41 ounces. Trigger pull is 3.9 pounds. As I mentioned before, the barrel length on this is a 5 inch barrel, so this is the regular full size. Sight radius is 7 inches. The magazine capacity on this one is 14 plus 1 in the chamber. The frame and the slide are both stainless steel. The finish is Ion Bond PVD. The grips are VZ operators and they're G10s. The extractor, this is an EGW HD extractor. It does have the AMBI safety. It does have the oversized flared ejection, ejection port. And it is a beaver tail grip safety. So a lot of that is kind of standard for what you would expect for a 1911. Some of it is not. Let's talk a little bit about some of the specifics on this particular one. I mentioned a moment ago it does have the Trigicon Tritium Night Sights. I've mentioned in some of my other videos how much I am a fan of those. I really enjoy that. Um, the Ion Bond Finish. This is something else. I think this is similar to what a lot of the Glocks have. Um, it's a very slick finish. Very wear resistant. I have no issues whatsoever with this as far as the finish goes. Um, very pleased with it. This one is also a railed firearm. You can see it's a standard uh, Picatinny rail. So you can put different accessories on here, whether it be a light or a laser or whatever you, what other contraption you may want to come up with on that. This one here, I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but it is the Black Ops. Where the logo is on the gun has varied with the different versions of this over the years. I've seen some where the Black Ops is a large word Black Ops. They also have the newest one now, right across here on the slide, you're going to see the, the big logo. Uh, it's a, like a bird of prey type low skull with wings kind of uh, logo. Um, there's different versions like that, but it's the same weapon. This one is the 1445. I mentioned the 1445 because you can see with the magazine, it is a double stack magazine. Again, this is a 45 ACP caliber magazine that holds 14. That's a big plus in my book. Uh, it is the Ambi safety. We've also got the beaver tail grip safety. Um, fantastic grips on this are the operators. Uh, now there's, I'll show you, I have another version of the Para 1911 that has the operator twos, which is I guess the more aggressive grip style uh, on this. They're very similar in, in appearance, but these are much softer. They're not as hard in your hand. That sounds kind of weird. However, when you see the other ones, or if you ever get a chance to feel the two of them, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This does have the checkered front strap. Um, great feel 
uh, with the with the magazine release. Again, I've told you in some of my other videos, my hands are very average size hands. Um, I don't have real long fingers. They're kind of very normal in that regard. But when I'm when I'm holding this, um, it's very comfortable. I get a, a great purchase on this particular uh, gun, the way it, it fits and feels. And whether it's the grip angle, uh, that is obviously a 1911 style grip angle. I think that's a huge plus, and that's one of my uh, takeaways or negative takeaways on the Glocks is that the, the grip angle is just a little bit different, and that's another reason why I do like the Smith & Wesson M&P line, is the M&P line does copy the grip angle from the 1911. But just the way that this feels in your hand is a very comfortable feel. It, it, it's a, it feels like it's, it's just part of your hand, an extension of your hand, if you will. And I'll bring this up again because you've heard me mention her before, uh, but whenever I go shooting with my wife, um, I use her as a barometer as far as aggressive or non-aggressive in terms of recoil or fear factor kind of a thing. Um, this was one that I had a hard time getting my wife to shoot initially, but she does enjoy it. And, and she has a 380, which you've heard me mention before. And it's kind of funny, sometimes we'll be out at the range and uh, if she starts missing with hers, she'll grab this and shoot maybe a magazine or, or, or five or six shots through this and then go back to hers and it kind of gets her back on target there so it may just be a psychological element to it but this is something that does not have to be feared as far as the big bang knocking you backwards or knocking you over it is a heavier gun 41 ounces um, compared to you know mid 20s or high 20s on some of the glocks we've talked about before so it's a much heavier gun of course it's stainless steel, not polymer, so there's the reason for that. But again, with that extra weight, that's going to absorb a pretty fair amount of the recoil. So there's not a whole lot of uh, intimidation there, at least there doesn't have to be. A lot of people going into it may feel that way. Um, but it's a very smooth firing uh, 45. It feels good. If you've ever shot a 45, or a 1911 45 before, then you already know what I'm talking about. Uh, but this is one, uh, shot groups are very tight with this. Um, I'm real happy with the accuracy on it, real happy with uh, just the whole comfort factor all together with this particular one. So whether it just be the ion bond finish or the, the double stack uh, 14 capacity magazine, the ambidextrous safety, I'm right handed so that really doesn't matter to me but it's a feature on this. The Trigicon night sights, um, there's just a whole lot of things about this particular uh, firearm to really be happy with. The match grade barrel, the oversized flare ejection port. Um, I mean, the, the only drawback that I've heard some people bring up is the skeleton trigger here. Yes, it is a polymer trigger. It is not an aluminum or a steel trigger. I have not had any issues with that. I don't have any anything in my mind that kind of takes away from that. I know some people will say that the, a plastic trigger has no business on a 1911. Well, that may be true in a lot of people's minds, but I don't have an issue with it. If I ever come across an issue, yes, I can replace it. Um, the double stack 1445 is not quite compatible with every 1911 component out there, um, but sort of the trigger is something that can easily be replaced if I want to go with an aluminum or a steel trigger. So there's definitely options for that, but uh, very happy with this particular 1911. Um, the night sights, as I said, come standard with this. That's a big plus. Uh, the skeletonized hammer is also a part of it. Um, it does have the full-size guide rod, uh, breaks down just like any other 1911 breaks down, cleans up the same way. In that regard, everything's the same. Um, you can't go wrong with it. And again, because it is a 1911, it does have that very smooth 1911 trigger pull. Um, can't go wrong in any way as far as that goes. So this is the Para USA Black Ops 1445 model 1911 um, handgun so uh, there's there's other versions they do have the regular single stack available out there uh, they've come out recently with the um, the recon version the combat I believe is another version the difference is there is threaded barrel or the shorter slide and barrel length different things along those lines so you've got some different options if you want to go uh, along that road but as far as the traditional size and style 1911 cannot go wrong with this. If you do some research on the Para USA uh, Black Ops on the internet, you're going to see uh, some negative reviews out there. I know there have been a few issues with some people. Um, when I The first probably, within the first 100 rounds, probably 75 rounders so that I put through this, I did have a couple of failed feeds. Um, 
but once that initial break-in was done, I mean, within 100 rounds, that was pretty much behind me. Uh, a lot of people will say you need to put 500 rounds through a 1911 to get it truly broken in. I'm probably at around 11 or 1200 on this one. And since that first 75 or so, I've had no problems whatsoever. The No fail to fees, no fail to fire, no fail to eject. Everything's been just been spot on perfect with this, so no issues at all whatsoever. Um, I do have another pair of 1911, which I will also do a review on, where I'll talk about uh, a couple small issues I've had with that, and I've had to deal with customer service with Para, and they are fantastic as well, but I'll get to that in a different review. But as far as this one goes, just a great overall firearm. When you read a couple of negativities out there on the internet, um, the only thing I would say is I've not had those same negative experiences with this one. Um, the, a lot of those negative reviews seem to be focused on the double stack 1445 as opposed to the traditional single stack. But again, I haven't had any of those issues. This does come with two magazines standard. Um, you can get more. I know they've gone through a change in format of magazines that Para makes. And uh, those recently came out, I believe, last year. I'm not sure. I believe these are. No, these may not be. I'm not sure. The new design, I have purchased some additional ones from them, and those are the newer design. I, I get mixed up which is which. But I didn't have any problems with the older ones to speak with anyhow, so it doesn't really matter. But that seems to have fixed a lot of the uh, fail-to-feed uh, issues or some of, the, some of the other problems that people have had. Um, but uh, just a, a great overall uh, gun. I have no complaints. If you've got any thoughts or questions on it, don't, uh, don't hesitate to drop me a question here on the channel, and I'll be happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. But again, Perry USA Black Ops 1445, 45 caliber 1911 style gun. Love it. Very accurate. Very fun to shoot. Very comfortable to hold. Um, these grips are, are just fantastic as far as the feel goes. Um, very comfortable all around. So love it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Have a great day.